this week I got to catch up with my buddy Joe Kelly. He brought along with him his good buddy Sam Dyson who pitches for the San Francisco Giants. I was excited to get these boys up and show them a little mountain hospitality. Joe and I have been buddies for a long time and we've done some hunting down in Florida together and it was nice to return the favor and bring him up here chasing some elk. It was really neat to meet Sam Dyson. I've never really spent a lot of time around a pro athlete, but he's just like you and I, just a great guy down to earth and he was happy to get after it and chase these bugling bulls. So I went to the University of South Carolina. Uh, we were fortunate enough to win the College World Series in 2010. Um, you know, growing up, you know, everybody wants to go to college and play, you know, college baseball and win. Um, not everybody's given that opportunity. Um, I was fortunate enough to be on a team that was, that was really good. I mean, they had some minor league guys that uh, came out of the program, some professional guys like Jackie Bradley Jr. Um, and myself. Going into uh, professional baseball, um, I've been to the postseason a couple times with the Rangers. It's a different scale of uh, toughness because when you get to the when you get to the top, I mean, everybody else is extremely good, and so you have to be on your A game the entire time. You know, we we won, you know, gold um, WBC in 2017. You know, we were fortunate enough to to get the job done at the end. I mean, it was a it was a long road. It was uh, it was quite an experience playing in front of all the different different countries we were playing against. And uh, you know, Joe came out and watched one of the games. Uh, Joe's a good friend of mine, and he was there supporting me as well as uh, some of my other family. Montana Full Circle is brought to you by Buffalo Bore Ammunition, Strictly Business, and Montana Department of Agriculture reminds you to educate yourself on the harmful effects of noxious weeds. You and I come from Florida, I mean, this is just a whole different world, but. Yeah, we don't ever see the hills like this. I mean, you can get on the Stairmaster, you can do a bunch of cardio, but you know, you're, you got a bunch of adrenaline walking around, you're not sure of your environment. We're at 7,000 feet. Almost 8,000 feet, mm -hmm. yeah, a mile and a half. But look, look what you get to look forward to. When we kill an elk, we get to walk it all the way back. Yeah, I'm just <laughs> pumped. <laughs> From an activity standpoint, I mean, this is, uh, it's definitely tough walking around these type of conditions in the cold and I mean you're living on top of a mountain where you've got you know it's cold windy a lot of a lot of snow um, you know it's just tough conditions to, to go out and hunt in. For the people back home and around the United States I mean I've never done this before you know it's it is it is extremely difficult to hunt public land this is not a hunting ranch I mean this is two million acres of you are off the grid and you are dealing with two feet of snow no traction trees falling everywhere you know you got to be really careful out here too a lot of things can go wrong really quickly I mean with these fallen trees I mean Dyson could tell you too you know with his <laughs> with what he does for a living you know it can it, it's intense you know you have to be careful out here because one misstep and you blowing out a knee there's no one out here to help you you are off the grid by yourself and you better have a good group of guys with you that can get you out of situations if you appear to be in one yeah, there's nothing sexy about it, man. I've fallen at least seven times. I've counted in my head, and I know you've seen I fell the last 30 feet, I fell three times. Make sure to catch up on seasons one and two of Montana Full Circle on YouTube and follow us on Facebook and Instagram.
I worked these southern boys pretty hard the first couple days. We decided to go for a drive, and right away we got into some elk at about 400 yards. These elk knew the game plan, and they were heading on out. Get in prone position. He's going to walk away. He's going to be gone, dude. There he goes. Right as we saw these elk, they saw us, and it was way too quick. We couldn't even get set up for a shot. I see a lot of times people get a little excited and try to take on ethical shots, but we were not in that situation. We knew we didn't have a good chance and a good clean shot, so we didn't take it. Hopefully we'll get on him and be able to stalk him down the wood line and uh, take from there. It was pretty cool, though. It was. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Montana. <laughs> We're gonna find some elk, just finishing eating some uh, moose fajitas right here. And we're gonna hit the sack and get ready for a long day tomorrow. Hopefully we'll find a good bull. So day three, Joe, are you ready? I'm ready. We just found some elk, but we're having a hard time seeing them. We get snow and fog rolling in and out, and we've seen a little bit. I've seen a handful of cows. I thought I saw a bull right off, but I'm not seeing it again. It's probably about a good mile and a half away. Just kind of got to kind of wait and see if it clears up for us. Otherwise, we've got a couple more spots to look. Maybe we'll work our way over there this afternoon. It's just a lot of work. You know, it's day in, day out. It's from the moment you get up to the moment you go to sleep. I mean, there's a lot of work you have to put in. When we get to the campsite, I mean, it's not like we're just hanging out. You know, we gotta cook dinner, we gotta keep the fire going to stay warm, we gotta chop wood. I mean, it's constant work. And that's what I, that's what I came accustomed to, you know, playing baseball growing up and then going through the high school level, college level, professional level. Each level you go up, this is a professional level. Adam's a professional. So once you get to that highest level, it's a lot, it's a lot more work than you would do when you were a younger kid because you have to know exactly what you need to do. That's why he has the tactical steps to get us in situations where we can kill these elk. Harder. <laughs> Harder than that. <laughs> yeah. Montana Full Circle is brought to you by Leupold Optics, Slumberjack, and Bergara. Well, we got up this morning. We've classed a couple cows so far. Just came over here. And we got a good one. I can't tell if he's a five or a six. And I got another bull. I think it's another legal bull. We'll see if we can get 
Joe and Sam on these guys. It's day six. Tomorrow morning, we got one more hunt, and that's it. So we're getting down to the short rows. I think we can make it happen. They're in a good spot. It just depends. There's a bunch of cows with them, so we might have a really hard time sneaking in on them. One of those, we'll have to wait, kind of see where the bulls are bedded, work our way in, and see if we can get a good shot on them. Again, dude, again, rack it again. 100% miss. After Joe took the shot, we sat there for a little bit and I told him I knew we missed, but I've always gone down and taken a look where the animal was standing after the shot. When he shot, that animal didn't move, he just kept heading away. But I decided to head on down the mountain and make sure there was no blood. Oh, there's a blood, first blood. First blood right here. And as soon as I got down there, there was blood everywhere. Big bull. <laughs> Heck yeah, man. That's unbelievable. Dude, look at that. Dude, look at that shot. I want to go see what the other side looks like. Dude, he smoked him. Crush him on the run, crush him. Dude, perfect freaking shot. Unbelievable, man. Adam, thank you so much for taking me out. What a good looking bull, man. It's a beautiful animal. Yeah, five by six. <sighs> Dang, we got some work cut out for us. But look at that thing, I did his job. Thank you for letting me borrow this one, but I mean, spot on, dead accurate. 300 wind mag, Buffalo bore ammunition did his job. And, that 180 grain bullet from Buffalo Boar sure put a hurt on him. Smoked him. That, that barn's tip triple shock, I mean, look at that. What a wound cavity. And he went nowhere. Yeah, it was all worth it in the end. And I just want to thank you guys for sharing this moment with me because this has just been a great time. But wow. It's been pretty impressive. You know, Bagara came out with these new rifles. They've been making barrels for companies forever. And they said, hey, all these, all these high-end gun manufacturers are using our barrels. Why don't we make our own gun? They did a heck of a job on that B-14 series. They got, um, you know, I, I got this, I got the B-14 Hunter and 300 Wind Mag and 7mm, but that 300 Wind Mag just smokes this guy. There's a perfect example, you guys. If you think you miss, go check. I mean, I knew, I, I knew you'd missed. I didn't even hear it hit. Yeah. And I'm like, you know, just from practice forever and ever, if you shoot, you go take a look and see if there's blood. And as soon as I got down there, I saw blood. Surprised the heck out of me. I haven't whole nother level respect for you Adam as an elk hunter I don't know how you do this every day but um it's 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 unbelievable man. public land on your own hunt man I mean we just we did it I mean and you guys really I mean coming from Florida you guys kind of have a total different yeah. climate down there you're not uh, used to walking through this I mean you're up there on the pigeon mound it's not <laughs> like it's not like you get a lot of practice doing this no, stuff man I mean, it's, it gets difficult every now and then if it's hot just walking up there on the mound but yeah I these mean, mounds it's... out here are 8,000 feet in the air <laughs> It's a little different with all the all the work we've put in the last few days. It's been, you know, something special.
Well, and the important thing is, is good gear. You know, you, you need a good gun. You need good optics, which is huge. Optics yeah. are everything out here, as you've been seeing. Yeah. We're glassing animals two, three miles away. You know, just good equipment, good clothing, staying warm, you know. Yeah. And this year with the line of uh, camel that Slumberjack came out with has been phenomenal. Keeping dry in all the snow and the wet and all the crap we've been dealing with. Staying warm with this incog coat. I mean, it's it's pretty impressive at the equipment we have now. Think back about 100 years, man. Could you imagine what it would have been We were like? talking about last night. Yeah. How those guys were surviving. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's pretty hardcore. Montana Full Circle is brought to you by... Shedhorn Cellars, Bogpot, and Nanook. Well guys, we just got done butchering our elk up. We got these wonderful slumberjack packs. These things have been phenomenal for me. Nice thing is you can get a whole quarter on here without having to get it inside with all your clothes and stuff. It's real important guys to make sure you got good quality equipment. And make sure you're comfortable for getting out of here. You okay you think? Can you go? Okay. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, that is heavy, bro. Oh. <laughs> Too careful, bro. Well, that was brutal. Say no hunting ranch stuff. Separates boys from men. Ow. <laughs> Montana Full Circle is brought to you by these fine sponsors and Bitterit Brewing. After the hunt, enjoy Montana's last best brew. What an experience. Seriously. Unbelievable experience. <laughs> by the way, this bitter root beer is unbelievable. By the way, Adam, this is awesome stuff. What are you drinking? You're drinking a little slow, slow elk. elk, yeah. Slow elk. <laughs> well, every other year, slow elk. Well, hey, cheers, man. Cheers, buddy. This is since we'll come. This That's right. Heck of a long day. Man, I never thought we were gonna get off that mountain. It's like forever, what's like two and a half hours to get out? Something like that. Walk two and a half hill. hours and had to gain 2,000 something feet of altitude to get back up to where we were at. Stuff like that. It's real tough. That's what elk runs about. But if you think about it, I mean, after all the elk we've seen all week long, to be able to find those elk first thing in the morning, sneak up, get close enough without those cows that we saw without them busting us been able to sneak up bust them again they all took off running on the hill and we still got it done yeah sorry joe got it done hey joe no. Got it done. No, no, no. we all got it done joe got you done found run. them dyson found and saw another bull as well that he possibly had a shot on but you did the sportsman right thing and didn't take the shot and thank you for that because you gave me the opportunity yeah, to get mine yours. <laughs> but um i mean you know I'll tell you what, elk builds a camaraderie of just joking around, busting each other, making sure that we're checking each other in the right circumstances. But man, what what a fun time, man. That was just a blast. <laughs> but like I said, and Dice and I were talking about this when we were walking up the mountain, joking around, watching him watching me fall down on my face, eating snow a couple times. It was it really puts in perspective, you know, a lot of people don't understand what elk hunting is. It's no joke. Well, and you took the shot, and I'm like, 100% miss, 100% miss. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, that just brings you back to, you know, when Dad takes you out hunting, you take a shot, 
you got to go look for blood. I don't care where it is yeah. or how far it is. There, honestly, there's no doubt in my mind he totally missed that animal. Yeah. Perfect heart shot. Yeah. On the I run. was totally wrong. <laughs> On the run heart shot. I was totally wrong, man. I went down there, blood sprayed everywhere. Well, that Vergara 300 Win Mag, that's a hell of a rifle with a loophole scope, crystal clear. Hey, here we are in Montana, 20 degrees outside in a nice warm tent, drinking cigars, <laughs> smoking. Heck yeah, man. Cheers. 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 Celebrating. Get the job all. done. Amen.